All right, mate. So, uh, so our tulip, soul farm. Is that is that right? Yeah, tulip. Okay. Uh, it, it's very new, right? It's very new. It's tough to say exactly how, you know, it's going to play out. It may need more time, may need more of a base, but we definitely are putting in something very interesting here. Like this, if we, if we can manage to break up out of this, um, a lot of times what's happen, what happens is you break up and you kind of consolidate, and then you make a move and and you. You kind of build a new base here, and then this can turn into, uh, you know, a, a pattern like this, which which puts in a base. And um, if I move that away, you can kind of see you you want to see this kind of form a bullish ascending triangle. Now I might not have drew that correctly. Maybe this needs to be a bit lower, and um, you know, but but some sort of pattern like that. If it's going to be a bottom, that's something that you really want to see. Um, you know, declining volume. There's no, you don't have any, uh, well, no real accumulation yet or anything. So it's good to keep an eye on that volume. Well, it, my only issue is that it's very, very new yet and very, very new coins. It's unlikely that they just do this. You know, it, it usually, it, it, it's usually a process, whatever way it is. Let's, uh, let's just flick through time frames. Like this on a three day chart is pretty good. Um, you know, a new, a new three-day candle. This kind of bull, bullish inside consolidation as you drop back down, and then you can see a new three-day candle, which is in 16 hours' time, might want to open up and continue that move to the upside. So, um, as for a near-term buy, you know, uh, I think there may be a trade in this. Now, you're saying six to nine months hold. Um, my suggestion with six to, six to nine months hold with anything is have at least three buys. So split split your if, if you've got ten thousand dollars to invest, for example, you know put three and a half thousand or three th put three thousand in first. Put your smallest allocation in first, probably, um, or two and a half thousand or three thousand. And then you know if for some reason this doesn't go up and it does come down, you know you can look to buy just below these lows here. And if somehow the market was extremely bearish, well then you need to kind of average that down and. After, uh, well, we'll not even take it from the highs, but you can see that's a 58% drop. That would be a 78% drop. So 70, 75% drops, not even that bad. A lot of these other coins drop 90%. You know, and that, now they're basing like ESP, Super ICP, or IC, yeah, ICP. You know, some of them drop 90%. So what I'm saying is, you know, what if this was to roll over and drop down like those, those coins? That 90% drop would be... Uh, I, I'm not. Oh, let's go to a daily actually. Yeah, I need to move that there. I'm not even taking this wick into consideration. You can take it in because it's real action. It's not the first day, so you really could take this into. I just don't like including wicks on the first day, but this I suppose you could take into consideration. But you can see that's only an 80% 80, 80 drop. Some of these coins dropped 90%, and as you can see there, that's down to four dollars. So. Uh, if you're going for long term here, I don't suggest putting too much in. Like I would suggest, you know, if you've ten thousand dollars to invest, invest two thousand or two thousand five hundred now, and then you know you look to look to average that down, and you will catch a low at some point. You know, when is that? You know, it's tough to say on these new coins because it's not developed enough. So, you know, if you could get an, an average down here. Or whatever, you know, you would have to think that it's it's half decent, especially if you get an average down down ninety percent down. Um, you know, it's it's obviously very good. Like EPS, let's look at EPS. So you, you can see that, um, what do you call it? tulip? Tulip could be at this point. Uh, in a way, I mean, what why I'm saying that is because the green moving average has just formed, and this bounce eventually rolled over again. Um, you can see the white 100 moving average formed here. So if you if you started to accumulate as soon as the white 100 formed, you know you're you're starting to accumulate on the very lows. Well, not on the very lows, but it's it's definitely it definitely was a good point to be accumulating. You can see that's 107 180 percent points um, after being down. And this is uh, this is why uh, I kind of liked it because. You know, you're 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 dropping 94% down at this point, so it's still it's still down 90% here. Look at this down 93%. My only worry is that the, what if there was more bearish action in Soul Farm or Tulip or whatever rolled roll over again? 
Of course, it doesn't have to happen, but that's why I'm saying don't build too big at this point. If you like the coin, uh, you know, and, and yeah, you think it's a high potential for the future. I, I don't know any of those fundamentals, but I do know that, you know, price action likely needs more time. But if it's got a very strong background, then, you know, maybe you could start accumulating and be, be prepared to, to build an average down.